So I'm Dom, I'm from Nothing But Thieves and this is our um, headline show at The Forum in uh, Kentish Town and it's the biggest headline date we've done so far. So I think for me when I hear a guitar in my head I naturally hear a telecast through a Vox AC30. I think a lot of people will say that like even for when you first hear guitars like you know Brian May and all that sort of thing, it is all Voxes. So um, it was the first, Vox AC3 was the first amp, a proper amp I ever got. Coming out of school, um, I, I just knew I wanted to give it a shot. And that's when I bought my first Telecaster as well. So I started building my sound off of that as like the foundation. Um, and ever since then, it's been like, I, I never used to be massively into pedals, but now I've started being, the, the pedal board is growing to the point where it's looking silly and I need to expand it. Um, I'm trying to, exp I want more and more amps to the point where my backline guys are getting a bit, a bit annoyed with me. But um, yeah, the Vox has been, well, basically the foundation of, of the, the guitar sound for Nothing But Thieves for, well, since day one, really. For me, I'm, Originally, I used to be all about, I was, I was that teenage guitarist that wanted to be really quick and flashy. Then I sl slowly grew out of that phase and wanted to get a nice tone down and I started to slow down the playing and think more about um, what amps and pedals I was going through. But for me, I'm a, I'm a huge Led Zeppelin fan um, and Jimmy Page is a massive influence for us. And, um, Queens of Stone Age are also a massive, a massive um, part of like inspiration for us as a band. Um, I think um, actually they run AC30s as well. Uh, they've got, they've got them in like claret red or something. Or like this, sorry, like uh, yeah, it's like a really really leery pink or something. I think they could try and call it red, but it's actually pink. But um, yeah, it's kind of any guitarist that. You, you hear, obviously, that you want to know who it is straight away, and I think that's always inspiring. And any guitarist wants to be like, wants to be that. So, um, yeah, I'd, I'd definitely say the guys from Queens of Stone Age, um, and uh, yeah, Jimmy Page is a big one for me too. It's definitely a conscious decision with how we work as two guitarists in the band. Joe um, and myself would never say one is rhythm and one is lead. It's not, it's not really what never worked like that as a dynamic because our rigs are set up to sort of um, lean towards doing both. Um, I'm kind of the, the, the geek of the band, I was classically trained and I taught music for a long time. So when it comes to voicings and, and inversions, um, detuning and doing all that side of things, like that's where I really like come into my own element. Um, whereas Joe is more of a self-taught guy and he's like, I'm gonna put my fingers here, shouldn't sound good. And I'm like, don't do that. Like the, the textbook wouldn't say to, and he just goes straight in. I'm just like, Joe, well, actually sounds pretty good. So. In that, um, in that sense, we really complement each other. And uh, the AC30 like, uh, is so reactive to my playing. I can roll off the, the tone, the volume. I can play softer. It starts breaking up when I want it to. I know how it's going to react when I put a telly through it. And I think that's what I'm most fond of because I know you get me an AC30 any, anywhere in the world and I know that I'm going to be safe.